Hi, Mastery Max. Today I hear we're going to be talking about the left brain and the right brain and learn a little bit about how our brain works. And you're sitting there listening and making sure that we're learning. For every day we want to learn a little bit more, which we call a cheese bite. So let's take a look at the brain. But I want us to remember that down the center part of our brain, it's like we have a wall called the corpus callosum. And we want to make sure that the synapses are connected on both sides. So we want our left brain and our right brain to work as together as closely as possible. But often we are more left brain or right brain and sometimes we can take a look at our behavior and our preferences, things that we like, and decide which side is stronger. So that means we want to strengthen that side, but we also want to work on our weaker side and train it because we need both of them to work together. So let's zoom in and look at the left brain characteristics. The left brain is used a lot when we concentrate on new tasks. And I especially think that if you're learning your count buys, or even if you're learning to drive a car, you have to really concentrate. The left brain is more analytical and logical. That means you like to do things in an order and a sequence. Learning math facts, learning count buys, learning our partners of tens, that is our left brain used, being used a lot. The left brain likes things to be structured and in order. The left brain is very objective and likes to see things brought to an end, which we often call closure. We need to use our sh left brain to develop short-term memory, and that's very important. If you don't concentrate very well, you need to develop your short-term memory because it won't go into long-term memory if you don't develop your short-term memory. And we have to practice, practice to get it into long-term memory, but it has to go into short-term memory first. And we like to think in words and with language if we're left-brained. And black and white. Often we like to see things that are either yes or no, we don't like the word maybe very much. So we are left-brained if those things are qualities that fit with the way you think. Now let's look at the right brain. Well, in the right brain, we do automatic processing. And one thing, if you know your count by is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, it's gone into right term, or it's gone into the right brain because you do it automatically. The other thing is, I think of when you learn to drive, when you can start driving and really not thinking about um, how you start the car and your foot on the pedal and changing gears, you do it automatically and you can listen to the radio at the same time, you are processing automatically. So that's right brain. And then we see quantum leaps and instinct. People that have a strong right brain tend to like to take big leaps when they're thinking of problem solving and answering questions. And they sometimes do things, by the way, I just know that's right. They don't have to see it um, exactly on paper and <clears throat> before they make a decision. Math concepts. Well, you need to know your math facts to answer math concepts and math problems. And sometimes I find students have what I call brain freeze because they don't know their math facts. And that's why we need to learn our count bys, partners of 10, and know our math facts, our computation facts, so that we can answer problems that have math in them. And often people right brain are unstructured. They don't want to have to have everything outlined exactly how they're going to do it. They can just go ahead and do it. And they like to have choices. They like to say, well, maybe I'll do A, maybe I'll do B. Whereas often if you're left-brained, you want just A or B. Long-term memory is in our right side and we need to develop that because if we can't remember, how are we gonna find our way home? 
Or how can we find call mom and dad if we don't know our phone number or our address? So those are things we want to put in long-term memory and not have to look them up. They should just be taught until we get them with practice, practice, practice. And we often see in pictures rather than in words and letters. We like to think in pictures. And that's very interesting to talk to people that do that. And they like humor. Sometimes people, when you tell a joke, doesn't really seem like a joke because they don't get the big picture. And so people, when we laugh and we get the joke, we, that's usually humor, which is the right side of the brain. And music and art, that is the right brain as well. So let's just review here at the bottom. Left brain likes details. They like to think and they like to use their auditory or their ears listening and it has short-term memory. Right brain, you see the whole picture. You like to do things. You don't like to think as much. You're hands-on and you're visual. You like to see things. You don't like to hear it by your ears and long-term memory is usually stronger. And here is an example with from our key sounds. If I say, spell apple, you would say A-P-P-L-E. -E. That's using the left brain. Then you can see the picture of the apple in your right brain. But if I say you spell it back to me, it goes back to your left brain. And it was interesting to talk to a fellow who could actually see that happening in his brain when I said that. So there's a little bit of understanding of our left brain and right brain and you can try to figure out which side of your brain is stronger. But we need to get the both sides working because they have to cooperate. Now, let's look at some of the preferences of left brain learners. You like structure in your day. You like routine. But right brain people, they're spontaneous structure and they like change. So do you like things to change or do you like things to be the same? You like to, left brain, you like to memorize by repeating. And you can do that with auditory, with your mouth. So you'll go, a apple, a ever, a ill, a ox, a up. A apron, e eve, i ivy, o obo, you uniform. Or right brain learners like to memorize by pictures or stories or use a mnemonic sentence. And so for instance, when we do the schwa sound, which is the letter A, E, I, O, like to say A, ah, which is the schwa sound, we remember the mnemonic sentence, the, uh, there, the soda spilled on the parcel, which had pencils and buttons in it. So now we know soda, parcel, pencil, button, because we think of that parcel that's got the pencils and the buttons, but the soda spilled on it. So we have a picture in our mind and we can remember. So try to figure out which way your brain learns the rest. And left brain, you like to memorize by writing or tracing. And sometimes you can even trace a word just with your finger on the table or on somebody's back or on your arm, but you kind of like to feel it. So writing or tracing. Left brain, they like to work independently. You say, no, just leave me alone. I'll do it myself. I'll figure it out. If I have a question, I'll come and ask you. But often if you're right brain, you want somebody beside you. You like to be involved and have interaction with somebody else. If you're doing your assignments, or you're doing your projects. So try to figure out which way do you prefer. Left brain people like to check off tasks finished. So sometimes on your desk, you might put a list of all the things that you need to do. You start with motif writing, then you go to alphabet, then you go to key sounds, then word families, and you do your sentence writing and your paragraph writing. You like to check it off as you finish it. So. Think about if that's how you like to see things. And right brain people do not always like to do things in order. 
So that's why I often say, even if you have the same list, you can do it in a different order and check it off. Although I usually say start with motif writing because that gets the left brain and the right brain warmed up, just like you do if you're warming up to run around the track. So in 40 Famous Stories book, there's 40 stories, there's a chart at the front, and you don't have to do the stories in order. But when you finish the book, there will be a sticker on each square of the chart in 40 Famous Stories. And some of my students really liked doing that. The left brain people uh, think things through before coming to a decision. Oh, so there's a spelling mistake. I said thing instead of think. So T-H-I-N-K, you like to think things through before coming to a decision. So you have a lot of information and then you put it together and say, yep, I think I'll do that. But a right brain person often comes to a decision on scanty information. They're not, they don't need very much information before they'll make a decision to do something. Which kind of brain are you? Left brain people like working in workbooks. Whereas right brain people would rather work like discussions and projects. So they still <clears throat> might learn about a certain country. Some people using books and workbooks and other people will make a project or they'll discuss the country they're learning about. So we can learn things in a different way, but we do want to make sure that both sides are working together, that each one is strong, and that we strengthen the brain, cell, brain part that isn't as strong. So if your left side is weaker, let's work on that. If you're right, we're going to work on that as well, but we work on them together and we will see success when you work through the program. Thanks, Mastery Max. Thanks for helping us, listening to us, to learn a little bit about our brain working. Left brain and right brain cooperating. Practice, practice, practice. Mastery is the key. Bye for now.